Hello everybody, I'm Michael Rao, and this video is a little different from other ones. Um, it's more like a confession video, but it's not. And it's kind of, it's, it, the message is this is important, so I kind of want you guys to listen. Um, I'm in college, as most of you know, and um, right now I'm on ap academic probation, and I'm not doing so well. It's a mixture of laziness, poor study habits, and just, like, I don't take notes, and, you know, there are things that I really need to work on, time management skills, and it's like... I, I have the potential to do these things, but I, I don't know how to do them very well. So what I'm doing is I'm going to my school's um, learning center, and they have an academic trainer, and they're going to help uh, by having the student learn and uh, practice these kind of behaviors to help them out, you know, in their school year. And, and it, it, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful service. Um, I'm starting to go, I'm going to go on Tuesday is when I'm going to go, and, you know, I really need this my, uh, you have to have a quiz of 2.0 to be at the school and to, to transfer and everything. My grade is 1.75, my GPA, and that's unacceptable. It really is, and I need to work on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to these things. I'm, I'm going to work harder. I, I'm, I'm going to get out of my funk, out of this laziness, and really realize my potential, because I know I have it. Um, so what I'm doing also is I'm setting, I'm going up for courses that are not, I'm going to go up to, I can't officially transfer into the degree I want to go in, so I will be unofficial as in I'm going to take the courses for it, and I only have one more gen ed, which is awesome, um, which is a foreign language, or it's a, what's the other one, foreign language, or world systems, um, I can do either one, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do, so I'm going to work on that, and then I should have enough credits, I think it's like a minimum of 12, and when I do that, I will have like 13 or 15 credits, so that's great, I can work on that, and it's just, you know, I'm trying to, to make up for my mistakes and get better at things, and my message to you guys is it's never too late. You know, I'm in my midterm areas. I just passed the midterm, so it's not too late for me. I can fix this. I can do better. And I might fill one of my courses. And as much as I hate it and it hurts, I, I can accept that if I can pass my other ones. I'm the one who made the mistake. I'm the one who fucked up. So it is up to me to, to make up for these mistakes, these these things I've done. And I say to you guys, that's, it's never too late. You know, you have a learning center. Most schools have a learning center, a library tutors, people who are willing to help you, even if you don't have family to help you or friends, um, you know, you can have uh, these, these, these many, many services that schools offer that are great aid. Um, if you have some money, there are different sites that you can go on to, um, and I, I, will, I will link some of them in the descriptions, their names are like evading me right now, but they will help you with study aids, and if you're in foster care or in, a, in an extension care program like B2H or which is British to Health and things like that, um, ask your the people who are near you, ask your um, your caseworkers to help you work on it while you're in high school. If you can perfect these things in middle school and high school and keep up on it, it will really, really help you into college. I, I, I have friends who study their ass off, and Somebody told me that she worked like ten and a half hours on, on work basically every couple of days, like, like a three day period. I'm like, that sounds insane, but it's not because she's studying, she's reading up on the material, and there's so much she's doing, and I, I'm so impressed. And I realize, you know, that I, I I'm lazy, and I really need to work my ass off and do better and be a better student, be a better person. So, like I'm saying this to you, don't feel like it's overwhelming. There are ways to fix it. There are ways to work on this. There are things you can do that can help you. Um, and I say this especially if you are on scholarships or federal aid or TAP especially. If you are below a 2.0, you lose your scholarships, a lot of scholarships, and you lose your thing. Like, not immediately. Some of them will take you, like, two semesters to do it. So, like I said, work. Uh, work. Do what you need to do. Go to these appointments. Go to these things and get your grades up. And hell, even if you're doing pretty good, even let's say you have a 3.0 and you want to do better, I still would advise to do these things to help so much and it shows that you have the initiative to do something and people, people like that, you know, that you, you're willing to see your mistakes and fix it. It's a, it's a sign of strength. So I said to you, work your ass off, do what you need to do and especially if you're a SUNY school because SUNY's great about that. Um, so like I said, work, work your ass off. Do what you need to do to, to better yourself. There are so, there's so much you can do, and it is it's almost frightening. Um, yeah, that's my video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below. 
Um, I will find a couple of websites that are useful. And I also have something called Foster Care for Success, which is for foster care students to get uh, scholarships to send. So we'll put all that stuff down in the description below. Um, yeah. Uh, bye, guys. Mwah.